Mabuhai, Kamustika, welcome. How are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Today, I want to talk about a movie and why I liked it. My wife and I last night watched a Netflix movie called Love Hard. <clears throat> it's a comedy. It came out uh, on the 5th of November this year, so not very long ago. It's about an L.A. girl, unlucky in love, falls for an East Coast guy on a dating app and decides to surprise him for Christmas, only to discover that she's been catfished. Actually, it went like 3,000 miles to do that. But the object of her affection actually lives in the same town, and the guy who duped her offers to set them up if she pretends to be his own girlfriend for the holidays. It's called Love Hard. I don't know how much I should tell you about it right now, but the, I was, I guessed the ending wrong. My wife guessed the ending correct, and uh, you know she she uh, gets catfished by this guy, and she's very disappointed, of course, when she sees him. And uh, while she's in the town, and she went all that distance, she's a writer, so she's got a story to write. And then she actually sees a picture of the guy she thought she was talking to the first time. Well, the guy that catfished her knows him, and helps her to try to get something going with him. And so he deceived her, this first guy, and now she's going to go out and deceive the guy that she thought she was going to see the first time. So it's about dishonesty. And, you know, if you're like me, you've been on a dating site uh, and, and not had success, you have your own opinions on how dating sites should be and how you wish they were. And um, honesty is the big deal here because... When you're on a dating site and you make a profile, um, you know you you want to be accurate about the information you fill in, with your height, uh, you know your weight, your age, your your preference for uh, the the age of the woman you're looking to meet. I think you just you have to assume that they're going to be honest, but you really need to make sure you're honest because if you're not honest you won't attract the right person. I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't be ashamed of yourself, you know, your your appearance, your you know, your interests, your skills, you know, your past because you know, if there's somebody out there for you, the fastest way to hook up with them is to show them who you are, you know, even on your photos like they said in the movie. Don't do your photos so that it's trying to send a message that is supposed to be appealing to a woman, but it's just not you. That's not fair to the person uh, filling out the profile to try to find the right woman if he's not honest about himself. So don't be ashamed. Be open. Um, that's the only way you're going to find that one person. It only takes one to to hook up with and get married to. If you're if you're not honest, that's going to hurt you. It's not going to be fair to the other person. And I think this happens a lot. I think we just naturally want to embellish some things, and and we really we really shouldn't. I mean, you got two imperfect people trying to get together on a dating site. They might as well. You know, hear how it is right at the start and then probably you'll have better success. When I was looking for my wife on Christian Filipina I wrote the, what my wife thought was a novel or something I didn't think it was that bad but I did say Look, you know here's why I'm here on this dating site and here's what I'm looking for here's what I have to offer and I think they knew right away hey this guy was serious about getting married married um, he's not a player. He's very straightforward and, and honest and transparent and and really genuinely wants a wife. And I talked to four or five women on camera right away. It wasn't difficult. We got together as soon as we could. You know, like, when can you chat? Or uh, can you chat tomorrow or tonight or whatever? And they did, and it was very, very nice. And I uh, chatted with my wife also. Uh, she was the only one that insisted that we kind of go steady because she like many women in the Philippines <clears throat> they don't like this idea of your you know communicating with other women and she's one of them she wants to be the one if it's not 
working out, then you can go find somebody else. And my wife just wasn't there to mess around. So she said, okay, you seem like a nice guy. I'll be glad to focus on you, hide my profile, um, if you do that for me. And so I, I didn't do that right away because I was shocked that she would say that. But I took her up on it because I needed help making up my mind because there's just there was so much interest, so many people wanting to chat. And so by putting out a profile that was honest, something appealed to her. Something probably did not appeal to other people. Um, you know, there was one time, a long time ago, long time ago, probably before the internet, uh, there was some product I, I had heard about, and it was uh, probably cassette tapes <laughs> that far long ago, and it was talking about how to make your profile for a dating site. I mean, I was looking for a long time, you know. And basically, they said to be as bland as possible. Don't say anything that would hurt your chances. Don't say anything that I don't know, they might not like or understand or, or you know, find offensive. And, and that way you're going to attract so many people. But you know what? They're not even going to know who you are. My recommendation is don't be ashamed of yourself. Just get out there and say who you are, what you're looking for, what you're good at, what you want to make out of yourself in life, kind of like where you're going and, and what type of husband you want to be. And, you know, you're going to be that much, a lot farther along the, the road to, to attracting the right person. So if you're not going to be yourself, you're not going to attract the right person. So this point was made abundantly clear in that uh, movie. And uh, I think I've already forgotten what it was called. It was called Love Hard. Love Hard. I would uh, recommend that movie for you to see on Netflix sometime. It's number two right now, I think, in the United States. So the main thing there, don't be afraid to be yourself, especially if you're looking for love beyond the sea.